What's up my friends? In this video I'm checking out RX10 Elements from Isotope, which is a software bundle to help you fix audio issues. I've been so impressed with this recently that I thought it'd be cool to show you, you know, how it works, you know, what you get in the bundle, if it's good value, if it's got a nice user interface, that kind of thing. And, you know, I like balanced reviews, so expect pros and cons. If you're new around here, I'm Harv, and I have lots of videos about videography and audio gear reviews, tutorials on my channel. So consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always get straight to the good stuff on these videos. And I have timestamped everything below as always. And these videos are not brought to you by any company in particular, except for maybe my Patreon backers. The idea with that, with my Patreon is any funds from Patreon go back into the channel to buy gear and then I give the gear to my backers. So if that's of interest, if you find these videos helpful, do check it out. It's linked below. It's just the cost of a cup of coffee and um, you know, you get the chance to win some cool stuff. So what is RX10? The RX series of plugins from Isotope are designed, as I mentioned, for repairing audio issues. Now in their 10th generation, RX10, the name probably didn't fool you, and they're just, they've been staples for audio guys for so long now, for when things, you know, don't go quite to plan and you need help out of a jam. Let me show you now what you get in the RX10 Elements bundle. So checking these out in Final Cut, and you can see you get six plugins within this bundle. You get D-Click, D-Clip, D-Hum, D-Reverb, Voice, D-Noise, and then the incredible Repair Assistant. Firstly, D-Click, and this is something that I think is often overlooked. I think often the focus is more on the sibilance of vocals, the kind of S sound. So this one's just really welcome. And then we have D-Clip, honestly, the only one I think that I would never use. And that's simply because I like to record using compression. And generally, you know, just coming from an audio background, I never want to clip my audio ever. So it's kind of a golden rule, isn't it? And then we have D-Hum, of course, very useful if you have anything that makes noise in your room. It could be some kind of lighting or a computer or air conditioning, whatever it is. And a lot of these have a learn button, so it's not as simple as just chopping out certain frequencies. This does it in a much more selective and intelligent way. D-reverb is exactly what it sounds like. If you're recording audio in, you know, anything but a perfectly treated room, then, you know, this is gonna be a really useful tool. I advise using it subtly, of course. Next we have voice denoise. Now there is going to be a little bit of overlap with dehum, but this plugin is specifically designed for vocals, whereas dehum you could use on any recordings. It's also going to look for noise across the whole of the frequency spectrum rather than just the kind of lower frequencies. It's good, it's useful. And then we have what I think is the most impressive of the six plugins, and that's the repair assistant. And it's kind of all in one. All you need to do is click learn, hit play, and it uses machine learning to analyze your audio and it creates a suggestion of what it thinks is gonna be best for your audio. I will say some of the time, I think these are quite aggressive suggestions. I would honestly dial back almost all of these, but you know, if nothing else, it's just a really useful thing to see. Next onto the user experience and the user interface of the plugins and for a long time, I've had several versions of the RX plugins and I've always found them really easy on the eye and um, this latest RX10 series is, is no exception. It's super slick looking, easy to use, really intuitive. It's kind of hard to fault the UI in any way from these plugins. However, one thing I notice when using the RX plugins being that I'm primarily a video guy and using these in my video editing software of choice, which is Final Cut Pro, it creates this kind of weird uh, delay lag thing, which makes it kind of annoying to use. This means that it chops off the very end of each audio clip, so you have to actually drag out and extend them uh, so that that doesn't happen. I've even tried, you know, creating compound clips across entire uh, projects, and even that doesn't work, so pretty weird. Also, I noticed that when using specifically the RX Assistant tool, amazing as it is, you know, it cre it kind of slows things down in Final Cut Pro. So if you need to use it and, you know, you want to uh, repair some audio issues, here are a couple of things that I can suggest. Always start by using the RX Assistant tool. Let it analyze your audio to see what it thinks 
and then apply the relevant individual plugins as in theory, there'll be lighter lifting for your system. However, my recommendation wherever possible is to dump your audio straight into your audio editing software, in my case, Logic, and then apply the RX Assistant and whatever you need to do to fix it and then export it to basically print the effects on and then you're good to go. Of course, you can also round trip the process from your video editing software to your DAW. In my case, as I mentioned, it's Final Cut to Logic. And the best way to do that is to import your clips, leave it unedited, and then export the whole project as an XML file. You can then open it in Logic add your plugins and get it sounding really good, and then export the audio by hitting Command B. You can then drop your audio back into your project, sync up your audio and start editing. Lastly, it doesn't hurt to go back and save that Logic project just in case you decide to go back and make adjustments. This process is potentially even easier using something like Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition using their dynamic link function. However, I haven't tried the isotope plugins in either of these bits of software, so I cannot vouch for them. If you have, definitely let me know. Please do, you know, I'm interested in the comments. At this stage, I'm sure you're wondering, how does it sound? Or rather, I think the question should be, what does it do to improve your audio and by what degree? Let's see. So here's a clip for you with really less than perfect audio. I've turned up the treble frequencies, so you're gonna hear some horrible uh, spiky treble. I've moved the mic away. It's quite a way away from me now. And I've added extra compression, so it's gonna bring up the kind of ambient rumble of the room. So you're gonna hear this again, but I'm gonna make some tweaks. Let's do it. So here's a clip for you with really less than perfect audio. I've turned up the treble frequencies, so you're gonna hear some horrible uh, spiky treble. I've moved the mic away, it's quite a way away from me now. And I've added extra compression, so it's gonna bring up the kind of ambient rumble of the room. So just to give my thoughts on what we just heard, and I've listened to the clips over quite a few times now, and it just sounds terrible either way. Does it sound better? Maybe, I mean, it's subjective, I'd say maybe yes. But I'd say really the point here is that, you know, if you've got terrible sounding audio, it's really hard to fix it. If it were me, if I'd actually recorded this and, you know, filmed a video around this sound, no question I would have started again and just refilmed the whole thing. So really what I'd say about this is it's best when applied to audio that's well recorded but just needs a little polish. And testament to that is that you've been hearing it on every single bit of audio that you've heard in this video. It's helped to remove room rumble, reverb, any clicks and sibilance. That's all RX10. So one thing I'd say from using this bundle for quite a while and previous versions of it is that the auto settings, you know, where a plugin will listen to your audio and then apply what it thinks it needs, those auto settings I find almost always too aggressive overly aggressive. So my my advice is to scale back. Uh, I think in this case, less is more. Next onto value for money. And there are quite a few different bundles available through Isotope and different uh, other plugin retailers. But I would say however you get it, whichever bundle you choose, you're getting a bargain. I went for the Isotope Elements Suite, which give you the Elements packs of RX, obviously, Ozone for audio mastering, and Neuron, which is an AI channel strip you can use on anything. And finally, Nectar, which is a vocal processor that again uses machine learning. But you can also buy these individually. They're not expensive whatsoever, and especially if Isotope are running a deal, which they do frequently. Next onto the pros and cons, and I'll start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So starting with the pros, and you get lots of tools in the bundle. Probably the only audio repair bundle you'll need. The RX Assistant tool is truly amazing. I recommend always starting with that just to see what it says. The quality of the effects are undeniably high quality. Isotope have always had a great reputation and it's well deserved. These are a bargain, however you buy it. I recommend if you just want these RX10 tools, just go for the RX Elements bundle and you'll be stunned by the price. Lastly, the user interface is lovely, intuitive, easy to use, I can't really fault it. 
And onto the cons, and I had some issues when using it in Final Cut Pro. Luckily, I record most of my audio either directly into Logic or as a separate audio file that I can process in Logic before starting my video edit. They also do slow things down. These are beefy plugins, so expect slower playback in Final Cut and longer rendering times in Logic, or your favorite audio and video editors. The auto settings can be overly aggressive. Just use your ear. You know how things are supposed to sound, and for me that means usually scaling down the amount that it recommends. Finally, to my opinion, and what can I say, RX10 works and looks good doing it. I'd say as long as you follow the few tips that I've included, you're gonna have a great time using it. Also bear in mind, it's not just for when you've got completely ruined audio. It can be that you've got well-recorded audio, but just need to fix a few minor things. You notice a little bit of room noise? a bit of clickiness or sibilance on a vocal, a bit too much reverb, no problem. The reason that I've been using RX10 lately is because as you know, regulars of this channel may have noticed, I'm in a new space and it's only partially treated. It's a work in progress. It's a larger space than my previous offices, so um, it's getting there, basically. I'm putting steps. There, there, are, there are steps to take, and uh, it's all happening. Do let me know if you want to see a tour at some point. I, I will do that. I have no doubt that this room will sound amazing at some point, but until then, RX10 has got my back. So get this if you work with audio in any way. It's effective. It's inexpensive and it's kind of a no-brainer. Don't get this if... Nope, I can't do it. No, if you work with audio in any way and, you know, if you've got this far in the video, you, you probably do. And if, you know, if you don't, what are you doing here? <laughs> no, you're welcome. Everyone's welcome. But uh, yeah, get this. It's good. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I wanna hear from you. What is your choice? What's your favorite software for fixing audio issues? And, you know, I, I ask because with all of these new AI tools popping up here and there, I just, I want to know. I want to know what, what's, um, what's the best. I'm not saying that RX10 is, but, let me know. I'm, I'll be down in the comment section. I've now made over 300 of these videos about videography and audio, of which YouTube has recommended this video for you, and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. Mm -hmm.